Thank you. Right now, investigators are trying to piece together evidence in a string of shootings just outside of Orlando. That's right, police. They're arresting 19 year old Keith Moses after three people were killed at three different locations. It all started around 11 o'clock yesterday morning when deputies were called to a home where a woman was found dead. Several hours later, police say 19 year old Keith Moses walked up to a Spectrum News 13 team working at the scene and shot and killed a reporter and critically injured the photographer. Moses then shot a nine year old and her mother, according to police. The girl was killed. The mother is in critical condition. And we are learning this morning that the reporter killed in that shooting was Dylan Lyons. Our Josie Carbonari is joining us live from the Dreyfus School of the Arts in West Palm Beach, where that reporter went to high school. Josie, good morning to you. Well, good morning, Nathalie. Good morning, Aaron. So Dylan Lyons was only 24 years old. As you mentioned, he went to Dreyfus School of the Arts. He was a communications major. He always loved TV news. He was a part of the morning uh, produced show here at this school. And people that I speak with say he was loved here. Um, and in this business, uh, as many of us know, it's a small business in TV news. Everybody has worked with somebody in the business. And uh, a former producer that I know worked worked with Dylan. He was her intern and this just came in. She just sent me a message. She said he was energetic. He was enthusiastic about TV news. He truly loved reporting. He wanted to tell the stories that mattered to the community. So this is truly, truly heartbreaking to hear uh, this news this morning. Now he graduated from Dreyfus School of the Arts in 2016 and then he moved on to UCF and graduated from there in 2020. Those who knew him as a student at Dreyfus here in West Palm Beach, they say he was loved. They're devastated to hear this tragic news about one of their own. Now, police say Lyons was shot while in the Spectrum 13 news car, along with his photographer, Jesse Walden. They were covering a homicide in Orlando when they were both shot. According to his LinkedIn profile, Lyons joined Spectrum 13 News in July of last year. And we're told the photographer who was also shot, he's currently in the hospital in critical condition. Reporting live from West Palm Beach, I'm Josie Carbonari, WPBF 25 News. Josie, thank you so much. Our thoughts and prayers are with Dylan and his family this morning. This morning, we are learning more about the suspected gunman's criminal past. According to our sister station in Orlando, 19-year-old Keith Moses' record includes gun charges, aggravated battery, assault, burglary, and grand theft. He also had a misdemeanor drug possession that was dropped in November of 2021. As for yesterday's shooting, right now Moses is only charged in the shooting of the 20-year-old woman. He is expected to face additional charges as soon as today.